Good day, everybody. Welcome to another Adobe Audition tutorial with your Sir Alvin. Again, you can subscribe and follow me on my YouTube channel at Sir Alvin. All right, so for today, we're going to discuss something about on how to structure your station ID or any material that you would like to structure or to lay out in Adobe Audition. So let's get started. Of course, first off, we have to uh, pull up my software, Adobe Audition, right here. There you go. So uh, let me also uh, open my folder right here. It's entitled Drill. So you can just uh, select All and then Open. And as what you can see, it's already imported right here on the left part of my interface. So primarily, we're going to be using two tabs right here, the Edit View and the Multitrack View. In the Edit View, you can uh, separately um, edit, alter, and modify all the materials right here on the left part. And after that, you can import it or put it right there in the multi-track view. All right. So, uh, of course, I already recorded my station ID right here. So let's listen to it. Broadcasting, Broadcasting live from, from the Coco, Coco News Center. Center. 17 years of leading the province. 17 years of only the best. Giving you the latest updates around the globe. Continuing the legacy of excellence, airing at 99.9 megahertz from the heart of Kazan. This is DZRN 645 Coco Radio. There you have it. So that is my raw voice of this station ID. So uh, we have to follow my previous uh, tutorial about how to enhance your recorded voice using Adobe Audition. So here it is. So we have to follow this uh, procedure. So first off, highlight the recorded material and then go to Effects, Amplitude, and then Dynamics Processing. Effects, Amplitude, and then Dynamics Processing. You have to choose Very Fast Attack, then click OK. Second one would be Effects, Delay Effects, and then Reverb. And then Reverb. And then uh, the effect that you have to put in is Nice Presence. Click OK. And then would, uh, next would be Effects, Filters, and then Graphic Equalizer. And then Graphic Equalizer. Then you can see there, Spit Clear, click OK. And then Effects, Filters, Parametric Equalizer. Parametric Equalizer. And then the feature would be Loudness. Of course, to put some loudness and crisp um, quality on your recorded material. And finally, we have to normalize it. Go to Effects, then Amplitude, and then Normalize. Click on 100% and then OK. So there you have it. It's already been edited and enhanced. So let's try to listen to it. Broadcasting live from, from the Coco, Coco News Center. Center. 17 years of leading the province. 17 years of only the best. Giving you the latest updates around the globe. Continuing the legacy of excellence. Airing at 99.9 megahertz from the heart of Kazan. This is DZRN 645 Coco Radio. All right, so that is the edited and enhanced voiceover for the station ID. So let me just cut this part right here in the beginning and in the ending just to make it uh, a bit uh, of the good size for the multi-track view. So first off, we're now going to proceed with layouting your station ID material right here in the multi-track view. So very simple, you're just going to drag and drop the material right there. Okay, so you're going to use the left uh, button of your mouse, but in order to move this material right here from left to right, you can use the right button of your mouse, okay? So there, you can put it right here on the right side or on the left side. Okay, but we're just going to put it right there in the beginning. Okay, put some space right here in the beginning because we are going to put on our course bed. Okay, so I'm going to be using this edit after effects template. All right, so there you go. Again, use the, um, the right mouse button. Okay, so let's try to listen to this bed first. I'm going to double click this part and I'm going to go to the edit view. Let's listen. All right, so that is our bed. 
Okay, so let's try to play it together with our station ID or together with my voice. Okay, so let's try to listen if it's gonna blend in. All right, so as what you can see from the very beginning, it's very evident that the bed is overpowering the voice. So we have to somehow blend in the two materials. All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to adjust the volume of this clip. So on this Edit After Effects template or the bed, you have to just right click and then go to Adjust Audio Clip Volume, okay? So uh, there, it pops up the volume uh, equalizer. So I can just put it down to uh, negative 9.7. Let's try to hear it. Broadcasting live from the All right, so I can now clearly listen to my voice, but I guess I'm just gonna put it uh, a little bit uh, uh, softer. Let's go for negative 13.3. Broadcasting live from the Coco News Center. All right, so I guess that's much better. You know what? When blending the voice together with the bed in Adobe Audition or in your uh, radio broadcast simulation, make sure that the bed is comes secondary. Okay, the primary uh, material that should be heard by the by the listeners, of course, should be your voice. Okay, so the effects will just be there to ornament. Okay, to ornament your material. Okay. So again, let's try to listen to the blending. Broadcasting live from the Coco News Center. 17 years of leading the province. 17 years of only the best. Giving you the latest updates around the globe. Continuing the legacy of excellence. Airing at 99.9 megahertz from the heart of Kazan. This is DZRS 645 Coco Radio. All right, so uh, I feel that I need to put up the volume of my station ID. Okay, so just put it to 2.4. Okay, and let's listen. Broadcasting live from, from the Coco. Coco. All right, so I guess that's, that's much better. You know what, guys? When you adjust the volume of your clips, m please try to listen to it twice, okay? Because there is... Uh, a tendency for your clip to be static once you put the volume too high or once you put the volume too low. Okay, so you gotta make sure that it should blend with the material that you just recorded. Okay, so again, blending is the key. And of course, same with uh, when you're preparing your coffee or with your any drink, you have to mix and blend it really well to, to fit your taste. Okay, so that is the key. All right, so I'm, we're good with the station ID and with the bed. So this time, we're going to make sure to apply the stingers and the bumpers. So I'm going to show you this script right here. Okay, so uh, this is uh, all, the, all the text in bold are the technical directions. And uh, those who, uh, text um, opposite the anchors are the lines to be read. Of course, we have to put on right here the theme music. Okay, and then the stingers right in between the lines. Okay, so now let's go back to Adobe Audition and let me show it to you guys. So first off, we're gonna be using a bumper. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the bumper right here. All right, so from the word bumper, it is in the beginning of the material. Okay, so it should be heard and it should attract or catch the attention of the listeners. So I'm gonna be putting this bumper right here in the beginning, okay? So you can actually um, zoom in your material right there, okay? So you, in order for you to see the proper timing. Okay, so just the bumper right there in the beginning and then let's try to listen to it. Broadcasting live from, from the co- Okay, you can still adjust. Broadcasting live from the Coco News Center. All right, so there you go. So you can still zoom, uh, zoom out. And this time we're gonna put the stingers right in between the lines. So I have here the stinger, which is the laser sound effect. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there in between the lines. Center. 
Broadcasting live from the Coco News Center. 17. Alright, so another sound laser sound effect right here. And another one right there. All right, so that's the sound effect or the laser sound effect will uh, give uh, some sort of breaker to each of the lines. And then I'm going to put this bumper right here just to add more effect to the material. All right, so you can still zoom in in order for you to see the proper timing of the materials. Okay, so it should not, the key there is to uh, make sure that the stingers or the sound effects will not overlap with the voice that you have on your recording. All right, so I guess we're good. And another bumper right here on the last part. Okay. And this is the, uh, how will it look like? All right, so let's try to listen. Broadcasting live from the Coco News Center. 17 years of leading the province. 17 years of only the best. Giving you the latest updates around the globe. Continuing the legacy of excellence. Airing at 99.9 megahertz from the heart of Kazan. This is DZRN645 Coco Radio. There you have it. So that is the station ID that you can use in your recording, okay, or in your radio broadcast simulation. Any part of your radio broadcast simulation, like the station ID, the breaking news, or the headlines, the news part, or the infomercial, could all be recorded. It depends on um, the process that you have to undergo when it comes to the radio broadcast. But like what I said, it's better live, but you can also do it with uh, uh, recording with uh, this software, Adobe Audition. So again, let's try to listen to it once again. This is our final output. Broadcasting live from the Coco News Center. 17 years of leading the province. 17 years of only the best. Giving you the latest updates around the globe. Continuing the legacy of excellence. Airing at 99.9 megahertz from the heart of Kazan. This is DZRN645 Coco Radio. Alright, so right after the station ID, right here would be your headlines. Okay, so of course, let me also show you how to save it. Okay, just click on export and then audio and then save changes to untitled. Just click yes. Okay, so you're going to save it first right here. Let me save it on my folder drill. Let me change the file name to final station ID. And this will be a .ses format. Save. Okay, and this time I'm going to save it right there on drill in MP3 form. Okay, final station ID .mp3. And then click on save. All right, so let me open it. Okay, so I'm going to go with edit view and then open. Oh, there. There it is. The final station ID. All right. So let's listen to this final material. Broadcasting live from the Coco News Center. 17 years of leading the province. 17 years of only the best. Giving you the latest updates around the globe. Continuing the legacy of excellence. Airing at 99.9 megahertz from the heart of Kazan. This is DZRN645 Coco Radio. All right. So this is the material. It's only for 26.6 seconds. Okay. So again, if you're gonna go to the multi-track view, this is how will it look like? All right. So once again. 
uh, students, this is how you lay out your station ID on Adobe Audition. All right, so again, to further explore and enhance your skills in editing materials, you can download your SFX, your bumpers, and record your station IDs, and then lay it out like this. Very simple, and you can always refer to this video right here on my YouTube channel. And again, follow and subscribe at Sir Alvin. Thank you so much, everybody, and have a nice day. You can always refer right here, Sir Alvin, on YouTube. Thank you.